Alrighty, Fight here with a quick demonstration of what the keyword sweet spotter can do for you. Basically the idea is it saves you tons of time. Not only time researching your keywords, but also tons of time not wasting any time and money on backlinking that's never gonna rank, all right? So I'll give you a couple of examples here. You know, there's an LC, I think it's LCD monitor, so you can do Amazon, Quit Smoking Naturally is a good uh, Amazon, uh, not an Amazon AdSense uh, site. Uh, you know, a couple of uh, products here, Raising Racing Pigeons and Blogging to the Bank. That would be ClickBank, Lose 10 Pounds. You could do that, you know, anywhere that you like. ClickBank product, your own list, and GoDaddy coupon. So say you are good at writing or creating Facebook pages, you're good at creating uh, hub pages, we do lenses, e-sign articles, etc. You want to figure out where do these search terms rank naturally and where can you, you know, quickly outdo the competition? But I think it's best explained, showing you how this works in practice. So say we wanna uh, look at Facebook, how pages could do, script, and ease on articles. And by the way, you can configure this any way you like. If you want YouTube in there, you put YouTube in there. If you want script out, out it goes. So now this thing looks uh, at the top 100 results for these keywords, and it figures out you know, where are these websites. Okay, off it goes, and I'll quickly stop this here for a second. So. This has only taken a few seconds and here we go. So what we find is, you know, for example, the sharp monitor here, uh, there's a natural occurring, you know, easy listing on Facebook. So basically these two things here uh, are in position number nine and number 10. So Google thinks, you know, Facebook is pretty relevant for this monitor, uh, despite this thing having no backlinks whatsoever. Now what's even better is like, you know, we can go out and click on these links here and figure out what is on those pages. Okay, this is what they're doing. And we basically you know, just quickly replicate this or make it a little bit more optimized for our keyword and you know, throw in a few backlinks and we'll outdo this very uh, easily. However, what we don't find in the top 100 is hot pages we do script or design articles. So because they're not ranking naturally and you know, reality is you're not the first one to discover this keyword, there are plenty of people out there dumping out tons of content, but Google is not considering it relevant so it's not showing up here. So I'm just gonna ignore this. And you know, if I really wanted to go after this one, I would go with Facebook. Quit smoking naturally. Now look at this here. Everyone keeps saying, well, Ezone Articles is dead. Ezone Articles, position number seven with no backlinks whatsoever. There it is, Ezone Article. Very cool. Um, down here, a Squidoo Lens is in position number 33 with 18 backlinks. That's kind of an indication that it's not really naturally ranking. So therefore I wouldn't, I would definitely go after the Ezone Article, but not the Squidoo Lens. Raising racing pigeons. Now look at this here. There's an exact match. So someone is possibly optimizing their website for raising racing pigeons. Raising racing pigeons in position number 23. So you know, this is like third page, but no backlinks. Hmm, let's have a look at this here. There is our racing. Fantastic. Look at this here. Stick some information in there on the, you know, on raising racing pigeons and, you know, off you go. If that's what you wanted to do. Lose 10 pounds in a day. Now this is very instructive. Look at this here. In position number 91, despite having 58 backlinks uh, and despite being an exact match, how to lose 10 pounds in three days, the eZine articles is only in position number 91. It's not going up, it's optimized for that keyword and it's in, you know, it's got 58 backlinks. Someone is making an effort, it's not anywhere near the top. So this is an example of eZine articles doesn't work. Up here, it is an example of it works naturally, okay? However, look at this here, position number two. Position number two, and all these keywords I've picked out here have you know 1,200 to 12,000 searches per month already. So there's quite a bit of search volume here, and you look at this one here. Well, apart from the raising racing pigeons, it has less, but anything else is over a thousand searches per month. This one is in position number two, um, despite not being fully optimized. Uh, lose up, they've got up to 10 pounds. Okay, they don't have lose 10 pounds. They have up to 10 pounds, and they only have three backlinks. If I want to target this keyword, lose 10 pounds in three days, man, I'm gonna go in there, create a new hub page, uh, and you know, I'll do these guys by a few more backlinks and optimizing it for lose 10 pounds in, in three days. Done, dusted. Go daddy coupon, there you go. Squidoo ranks naturally, nothing else does. Blogging to the bank, fine example here. Position number 10 and 11, not really sort of in the money, despite having 1,400 and 3,600 backlinks on Squidoo. So there's no way I'm gonna optimize a Squidoo lens because first of all, I'm going head to head with these guys. Look at all these backlinks. Plus, Google doesn't think this should be anywhere near the, the very, very top. However, look at this here. Facebook, exact match, but no backlinks whatsoever is in the middle of the second page. So you know, if I really wanted to go after this one, and you know, there is money to be made in this one, 
I would go for the Facebook one, optimize that a little bit, and off you go to the races. So there you go, this is how the tool works. It's very, very simple, but the impact is huge. First of all, the, the time you save searching for all of these, you know, anything you're good at uh, is enormous, but more importantly, in the long run, when you go in and go, right, you know, what should I optimize for? Am I gonna go for, most people have these sort of fixed optimization things. Hey, you know, either, you know, now I do a Facebook page, now I do hot pages, then I do e-zone articles, then I do a press release, blah, blah, blah. Forget about all of that. You go in and figure out where's the sweet spot. In this case, it's an easy article. Boom, that's where I'm going to focus my effort and then move on to the next keyword, right? This is where you get the bang for the buck. So you're saving lots of time now and more importantly, lots of time and money when it comes to ranking the stuff because you, know, you might as well go for the stuff that is ranking naturally in Google. Alrighty, have fun with the Google keyword sweet spotter. Speak to you soon. Bye.